If you want the easiest soft pool EIN only business credit cards, I would tell you one of the cards that I would definitely look at is the Wayfair business credit card. Now, especially for you guys that may be getting into the Airbnb uh, situation. So they have the Wayfair business professional, okay? And what happens is if you already have a Wayfair account, you can actually convert that regular account over to a professional account. And so what that means is that like you get a net 60, okay, with EIN only, right? Now, of course, they're going to need uh, documentation to show proof that you are actual business and stuff, but it's soft pull on the credit, so you don't have to worry about that hard pull on the credit, all right? Basically, they're looking at what's going on with the business. So that's the first card. The next card you want to take a look at is the NAV Prime. Now, here's the thing about it with the NAV Prime, a lot of people get wrong. They would sign up for the NAV Prime card, okay? And granted, it's no money down, so there's no deposit. You get two trade lines because you sign up for the NAV Prime credit card and NAV Prime checking account. Um, plus, it does the monitoring for your business credit and your personal credit that gives you a vantage score, right? So those are a few things about it. But the thing about it, the reason people don't get the two trade lines on their business credit card, because they'll get approved for this card. Like I said, it is a charge card, so you have to pay it off in 30 days. But you don't have to uh, do no deposits. You don't have no credit pool, okay? So this is one of the easiest cards that you actually can get. But going back to why people don't get the two trade lines is because they don't use the card. They would get approved for the card, but they won't even use the card. So because you don't use the card, it's hard for them to uh, pick up any data that you're actually utilizing the card to report on your business credit file. So then you're like, well, they're not reporting. The reason they're not reporting is because you don't use the card. You got to use the card, people. And that's the thing I continue to tell people. Even like when you get a regular business credit card and they give you like 300 or 500 and you get mad and don't use it, well, guess what? The problem is you, right? Because they can't see the data. They don't know if you're actually wanting to use the card. So you'll just put it in a drawer. You may uh, don't even use it or whatever. And I continue to tell you guys, even if you're buying uh, gas for your vehicle to travel for business purposes or buying equipment, buying a computer or something like that, you got to utilize these cards in order to get higher limits, okay? In order for this data to process and to report to the business credit bureaus, okay? This is so important and a lot of people miss out on this opportunity. Now, that being said, the next card you want to look at, it's a Sam's Club MasterCard, right? Now, everybody wants this here card. And I don't blame them because it's a good card, right? And it's EIN only on your business. It's very easy to get. But here's the thing about it. Some of the factors that people don't realize. You need to have at least an 80 paydex score. So that means that you need to have net 30s. Now, how many net 30s do you actually need to have on the credit file? I always tell people the maximum amount of net 30s is between five to seven. You don't need 10, 20, 30. You don't need all those net 30s. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money and it's a waste of your time. That's the reason I tell people to get the NAB Prime because it automatically gives you two trade lines. That's already two trade lines right there, right? Now, here's the thing about it with the Sam's Club, 80 paid X, uh, higher, 79 experience or higher, okay? Now you have to open up a business account, all right? For at least 30 days or more. So before you even apply for this card, now, if you have good, strong credit, yeah, you may be able to apply for this card right away and you may be able to get it, but make sure you go on the inside for this here card, all right? One of the things that challenges a lot of people and they don't get approved for like business credit card, business lines of credit, also is the challenges with their situation 
is that all the business information is not matching. So if you have business information that's not matching, then that itself will definitely, if that information is not matching, that can be the cause of you not getting approved as well. All right. I even tell you guys about this with the personal uh, loans and stuff with bad credit and stuff. If the information on the credit card is not matching, then you won't get the card. All right. Now, the next card is your Shell Fleet card. All right. Now, this card is issued by Wex, but they look at your Dunn's number, your Dunn and Bradstreet, and in terms of a soft pool. All right. So you're not worried about that soft pool. Like I said, these are cards that are fairly easy to get when building up. Now, here's one thing that I would definitely tell you all that people make the mistake. One, they would put a Gmail or Yahoo or AT&T or uh, something like that as their uh, corporate email. Do not do that. You look so unprofessional. You look like a scammer when you do that. That's the reason we always tell you that your email is more important than a Dunn's number. When you put that email on that application and it ends with Gmail, Yahoo, AT&T, this is a red flag. Now you're looking like a scammer, okay? Because you're not doing anything professional. Now, some people ask, should I have a, a virtual address, a commercial address, or should I use a home address? Again, here's the problem with that situation on the addresses. If you use a virtual address that has been recycled, and people prior to you using that address have got credit with these here uh, lenders. What ends up happening, that address is, is um, blocked, right? So it's red flag, basically. And so if you come along with a brand new business with that virtual address and you put it on there, you're going to have a higher chance of being denied. And people are not realizing this is becoming a bigger and bigger problem. That's the reason like banks won't even op let you open up a checking account. All right. That's the reason I tell people if push come to shove, I would just use the home address. Using your home address is not going to stop you from getting any business credit funding, business credit cards. That at home address is not stopping you from that, all right? So don't feel that, well, if I put my personal address on here, I won't get funding. That's not true. That has nothing to do with it, all right? Then you have another card. You have the GM business card. Now with the GM business card, yes, it is a soft pull on your Equifax. But here's the thing what some people have been running into. They may have a brand new LLC, but if you have um, less than a year in business, they may turn you down, okay? Or you already have existing business credit cards, okay? That are maxed out. They may turn you down, okay? These are other factors that people don't. So even if you have multiple inquiries and things of that nature, that's not stopping you. It could be your utilization with GM business card. All right. Or you just haven't been in business long enough or uh, in reference to stated income, things of that nature. The numbers may not be high enough. All right. So there's multiple factors that will keep you from getting easy soft pool business credit cards all right so that's the thing about it with a lot of these people they're not being transparent they're not being open and telling you uh the true facts that may go along with it now we have one more card that we're going to be talking about and that's citizens bank citizens bank being a community bank i always tell you guys community banks are tier two lending. They're more generous uh, sometimes and more flexible than the credit unions. But one of the things about it, if you have a high DTI, high debt to income ratio, this may get you denied. But one of the things about it, I always tell you to garden a relationship. Now with Citizen Bank, soft pull Equifax. But again, if you don't have a relationship with them, I would tell you to do the relationship 
open up the personal account, open up the business account, make deposits for at least 30 days, and then apply for the business credit card, especially since it's a soft pool anyway. I would do it that way. That way you have higher chances if they can actually see. Now, for those of you, some of the challenges that you have is even to show, like some banks now, they want you to show proof of income. So they may do a 4506T on your business, show proof of income. They may ask you uh, sometimes for a um, bank statement. They may ask you sometimes for pay stubs. In reference to pay stubs, we can help you with the pay stubs. That's not a problem. We can set the payroll up for you and everything. So I hope this video helps you all to make you understand that a lot of these people that are saying, oh, you can get business credit this way, they're not giving you all the details. And if you don't understand the details of what it is that's going to take you to order to get uh, business credit funding and business credit cards, then they're leaving you in the dark. If you have any questions, you can click the link in the description, schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. I'll see you in the next video.